Hey folks, Dirty here for Premiere Basics, and first let's put on some nice music. Nice. A great video editor is not someone who can make the fanciest effects or transitions. Pro video editors know where to place a cut at just the right time at just the right place. We've talked about several of such techniques already, like the point of interest, and if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely check the link below. Now, I want to show you four different cuts that you can do. I know, that razor blade tool seems very boring, but trust me, it's the best thing there is inside Premiere. I've got two sequences in my timeline. One is some b-roll with a fancy song underneath, and that b-roll then cuts to an interview, a very typical edit. But currently that transition from the B-roll to the interview is pretty hard. They don't connect together. Well, that can be fixed with a J cut and it's not referred to a Jordi cut, although that would be awesome. I'm gonna trim the video track of the interview. You can select the video track solely by holding down the Alt key as you do that. Next, bring the speech from the interview a track lower and now drag everything back so that the video clips connect. We will now already start hearing the talent in the last shot of the B-roll sequence. Essentially, we are introducing the interview, making the two parts connect better. It's called a J cut since the audio track and the video track have the shape of a J. The same thing can also be done the other way around. You have an interview and you overlap it with a B-roll sequence that follows next. In this case, it's called an L cut because of the L shape right here. Damn, this song is nice. All right, editing tip number two. We have a shot of myself, and this is something that we can use as an editor. It's called the Kulushov effect, an old film experiment from the 1910s. If I place a shot of a television next to that, it seems like I'm looking at that TV. We've linked the two shots to each other, even though they were filmed at very different times at very different places. It also tells something about the talent. Depending on what's playing on a TV, the fact that I look at it shows that I have interest, perhaps a news item that I might have something to do with. If we cut to a beautiful girl, it might tell that I like her. So depending on the shot that follows, we can give backstory to the talent. Although this only works by staring or looking into a certain direction. Trick number th three. What's that? Oh, you mean how I'm able to use a short song from a craze on YouTube? Could you ask? You know, I downloaded and licensed it from Licked. Licked is the fastest growing short music library where you can buy a license per song and use it in monetized social media videos like on YouTube, on Facebook, whatever, 100% claims free. That must be super expensive, you might think. Well, you're wrong. It's super cheap. Using short songs will set your videos apart from the rest. As people don't expect to suddenly hear familiar music, people are more likely to you engage on your videos, thus helping to grow your channel. You're saving time as the song you had in mind for your edits can actually be the song and not something alternative. So definitely check out your library and see if you can license a song from your favorite artist. The more creators that start using Licked, the more that we can support their mission to sign all the major record labels and publishers. Plus, you're supporting the artist whose music you're licensed. It's a win-win. Now, next to the short songs, Licked also has added a subscription-based stock music library, making them the one-stop shop for all your licensed music. You can browse over a million high quality songs and filter by mood, theme, genre, BPM, whatever, to easily find the right song for your project. Licked have all your sharp and stock music requirements covered so you can improve your video quality. Get 50% off your first chart track and 60 days free stock music using the first link in the description down below. So go check it out. All right, trick number three now, but first let's put on a different song. Damn, it's so cool that we can use this. All right, the invisible cut. Here's a shot of me performing an action in a medium shot. We cut to a long shot and I do that action again. Now, if we were to cut it like this, the edit is more noticeable. And the idea of video editing is to make sure that your audience doesn't feel that you've edited a video. I know, it's the most underappreciated job. So how can we hide this cut? Well, as I stand up, I cut in that action to the long shot. That long shot starts in the action as well. It's Basically, my movement continues through the two shots, linking them better together. You're gonna see this in every film, definitely action scenes. And last but not least, tight cuts. Here's a timeline from one of our tutorials, and this is the track of my speech. And here's an example where the right clip has too much spacing before I start to talk. You can see it here at the waveforms. Let's have a look at it. Or you can also change it to multiply and have an in-text video. 
that's up to you. The pacing is completely off. Now let's trim that clip right to when my speech starts. Or you can also change it to multiply and have an in-text video. That's up to you. Much better as you can see. And this is not only for speech, but for every jar. If a pause does not add value to your edit, then remove it. Having tight cuts also makes your editing less noticeable, which is again, the entire idea of video editing. Now, thank you so much for watching guys. And thank you Licked for the support. Definitely check out the link in the description down below for more information. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more. This one is a very cool video. You're gonna learn a ton of new tricks, tricks, tips. So check that out. And over there is a subscribe button to see us every single week. And now I'm out. Goodbye. Take care. And I'll see you next week.